Get a boat, they said. It'll be fun. You'll have a good time. It's a great way to relax. Well, not for everybody every time you go out on the water. Sometimes you'll get out there and things will just go a little sideways. Kind of like some of the things we'll see in this week's episode of Boating News of the Week. Our first incident to make the boating news this week is going to take us down to the Caribbean island of St. Martin, where here in these images you will see the 235-foot yacht Geo crashing into a concrete dock wall in Simpson Bay. The yacht upon approach had a computer malfunction causing this incident to occur. The 235-foot-long turquoise hold yacht is owned by Capri Sun juice tycoon Hans Peter Wild. Yes, apparently there's quite a bit of profit in selling little juice boxes. At the time of recording this, it's unsure whether Hans was actually on board the vessel during the incident, but here the boat can be seen coming in approaching the yacht club, and here you can see the damage that it's caused. The actual financial amount of damage that was incurred to the yacht and the yacht club has not been determined at this time, but the owner of the yacht club did say he believed it would take months to repair everything. Our next incident to make the boating news this week is going to take us down to Florida, where residents in Palm Beach Gardens are a little bit disturbed after a speeding boat crashed into a number of docks this past week. One of the residents' surveillance systems actually captured the exact moment the boat went out of control and flipped over and headed toward their backyard. Residents in the area are now trying to call for a no-wake zone to be placed in this section of the waterway, as they say it's not uncommon to see boats come speeding by. Here we can see the cause of the incident. Somehow these two were ejected from the vessel. It lost control. Apparently they were not wearing a kill switch lanyard, so the vessel continued on under power. Here you'll see the aftermath of what was left behind in its wake. Very fortunate here nobody was injured. Our next incident to make the boating news this week is going to take us over to Nashville, Tennessee, where emergency crews rescued 12 people from boats in frigid conditions after the roof on the boat dock collapsed in Old Hickory. The Nashville Fire Department responded to the Blue Turtle Bay Marina after 911 callers reported that the roof had collapsed on the boat dock with multiple houseboats with people inside still underneath it. Conditions were too icy to reach the boat dock by foot, so crews deployed rescue boats to transport the people who were stuck underneath the roof on the vessels back to safety. Authorities eventually were able to get everybody safely off their vessels and back to land. This is just one of several incidents we've seen like this over the past couple weeks due to winter storms. Speaking of winter storms, that's going to take us into our next incident to make the boating news, and that is a turtle rescue. Most people might not think of this, but when cold weather strikes, turtles just do not fare well. This is the scene in South Padre Island, Texas, where a Texas nonprofit rescued approximately 3,500 cold stunned sea turtles from record breaking temperatures that walled the area over the past couple weeks. Sea turtles become cold stunned when water temperature goes below 60 degrees Fahrenheit. The cold-blooded animal becomes sluggish and lethargic when their body temperatures plunge. During this event, temperatures on Texas's southern coast dipped into the low 20s. The average high during this time of the year for that area is usually in the 70s. These turtles all became cold stunned, but fortunate for them, the nonprofit Sea Turtles Inc. along with local boaters were able to rescue these turtles. Our next incident to make the boating news this week is going to take us down to southern Georgia, where six people had to be rescued, including four children, after their boat struck an object near St. Mary's Jetties. One of the children on board the vessel was actually able to get a 911 call off. The only thing they were able to get out to the dispatch is that they were on a boat that was sinking before the call was lost. This crew did wind up having to abandon ship, but fortunately for them, there was a dredging vessel in the area that witnessed the event and was able to pluck this crew from the water, and everybody made it back to land safely. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Boating News of the Week. If you ever see anything crazy happening on your waterways, be sure to hit me up on Facebook or Instagram and let me know and you might see your stories over here. Just like Grammy Boyack, Jack Cooper, Rob Bowderu, and Dre Doss did this week. And if you haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button. If not, we're coming to steal your drain plug.